hard working old K2500 truck. Came to me puking oil everywhere. Came up the driveway and made its mark all the way up there smoking. Got a rear main seal blown out of it. Get her fixed for me. We'll get her fixed, but it ain't no rear main seal. Let me show you what it is. There is no chance of this truck rusting away at the moment. It is soaked in oil. Well, it was concentrated around the bell housing, so I guess he wasn't mistaken by saying what area it came from. However, these 2500 trucks have a unique system here where they're being four wheel drive. They use this little tiny filter that sticks out sideways because they've got oil cooler lines that come off of these puppies and I believe that this sandwich plate right here, the adapter, that is where our leak is. So let's get this guy off and fix it. We got two gaskets in this assembly after we take the two bolts out. Um, these are half inch bolts. Uh, we have like a paper style gasket. It's like a separator plate. Um, it's going to go up inside the assembly. Um, and then our main sealing part, which is the part that failed, is an outer o-ring. And I'll show you exactly where it failed. Boop! Right there. Uh, that's where 100% of our oil pressure was pretty much getting pumped out of the truck right onto the ground. This is what we got supplied from our local part supplier, Dorman part number 82560. Um, this is the oil adapter and cooler uh, o-ring assortment. Um, obviously we're going to use that big flat piece in there and then one of these o-rings that fits our assortment and we can put her back together. And then the oil should stay inside the engine. So we got our new o-ring, our new gasket versus our old stuff. Uh, this is nice pliable rubber uh, all in one piece whereas this is very brittle and broken and probably the same for the gasket. So, As you're able to see I can kind of drop it down. Our o-ring goes around the out perimeter and the gasket sits up on the top of the, the lip of the upper edge. Um, I don't believe my lines are leaking. So I've left them attached and just kind of dropped it down and just kind of snuck everything in for now. Of course we had to take the oil filter off as well. But it's just the two half inch bolts that hold this guy on. There we are. Just those two half inch bolts hold this guy on. And once again I've left the lines attached to it still. Oh look! No more drips! 